Previously on Code Vein. I like the lore about this world, too. It's pretty interesting. Well, there's no cure like the obscure. I won't stop fighting. You can't charge forward if you're always looking back. Oh, oh! oh he knocked me off the cliff again. But to make this blood spring glow, or whatever the word is called. Eh? All right, that's enough. Back to the video. So hey, Davis. Yes, this is a map of the depths. If you want to go to this location, tell me, and I'll guide you there. I don't know what you give me. Here, have these. Oh, thanks. This is a great way to wake myself up. But if I eat too much, I worry about the smell and end up avoiding people. Boo, damn it. <laughs> hey, Phantom Ghost 245, what is up? Nice to see you again. I don't have enough Queen Iron. No! Wait, how? How fast is this? Oh, it's slow, but it, ugh, it takes such a long time. Uh, don't know if I should be doing this, but uh, no one can stop me. <laughs> uh, hey, Yakumo. Oh, I did not mean to sit next to you. Hold on, let me get back up. I just want to talk to you. Uh, blood coat weapons, blood coat. Okay, so like the blood coat I'm using right now is Prometheus. It's the one that you get from bonding with Louis. Uh, Louis, sorry. Uh, I'm using a lost bayonet and a Zweihander with a Queen Slayer Thorn plus two. Uh, so it's like this one, that one, and then this one. And I've got all of these gifts. And so far, it's been um, it's doing it's been doing pretty well for me. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't gotten like. Uh, the right vestiges I need to unlock some of the passives in history, but on but uh Rune City Center. Okay, it's Rune City Center. That's where we need to go next. But like so far, it's been treating me well, and I I, I have no regrets about uh, equipping the Prometheus. Also, I need to ask you, what does I overheard uh, you're able to read blood code and incorporate? Fascinating. Oh, it would be an honor. Thanks for giving me yours, Davis. <laughs> Strikes a fine balance between melee attacks and a variety of useful gifts. It seems I can restore the blood code if you find it could. You have these vestiges. Uh, here. Thank well, well thank you so much for the support, school. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't been able to catch any of your streams because time zones. <laughs> no. I know this like, um, because I live in Southeast Asia and uh, right now out there it is 10:30 p.m. What? what? Back there. And like, I Who really wish, like, with all the American friends that I have, I wish I could watch and like lurk on all of your streams, but <laughs> time zones make it <laughs> sometimes make it kind of impossible. <laughs> but like, I enjoy just doing what you do, it's just supporting all the, all the, just about everyone in the community. It's great. I haven't had this much positive growth and support in like. The years because i used to do youtube uh way back before i started doing this twitch because i started doing twitch battle. in october of last year i only when i'm engaged uh, in and then before that i was doing youtube for about six years and in six years i didn't I haven't gotten as much positive growth as i have in the last are, are you helping me Five, four, five months of streaming on Twitch. It's great. I love it. And the thing that I find about Twitch that is makes it a lot well, it's a better platform than YouTube is that uh, when I'm doing this for let's say let's say for example if I'm doing this for YouTube, uh, I would be recording this um, offline, and therefore I won't be I wouldn't be. I mean, I would be interacting with viewers, but they would be, it would be passively as compared Here's to actively. It's not much, but I hope it helps. And like, passively so is, it basically is, Sorry. I'll be recording and I'll be talking to myself on camera do this without, want to. Um, like, worry without you guys right? helping me. Tell you know, me if I can help with something. Or talking with me on, on a I chat. And that, I, I did that for like six years and I got like, some support but not a lot and having a live chat platform to talk to people like you like phantom my friend loop as well that i used to get on youtube videos that i post every day i met in my travels 
and the, the interaction makes it a lot death. more dynamic than if I did this solely for YouTube. It's because, if, like I said, with I YouTube, I would just be recording so and talking to people that I can't see. Slip away. But with Twitch, I can talk with people that I can Sorry, see chatting. I don't mean to bother you. And I, we can chat, we can interact, and it makes it a lot more wholesome, around. and a lot more dynamic, and a lot if more are, entertaining I'd like as well. To get them back. I may discover things that are painful to confront. I made and a that's what to makes, my past for me, uh, that's what makes streaming on Twitch so fun. Back then, Because I get to talk with I people no idea what would and play games as opposed to talking to myself and play games. Yeah, Twitch is super no fun. End. It's Even way more fun than what I was doing on YouTube. Fight. And then, so now. when it was over, both the strong and the weak were ravaged by bloodthirst. But with resources thin, they had nowhere to turn. I wanted to do something, to do anything to help. Stupid chirp. Honestly, all there was to it. It never occurred to me. That yeah, no, yeah, no, none of, none of that crap. Uh, oh, I can't do that anymore. Aw. Oh. oh, I just have to wait for her to wake up. Can I talk to you now? Hi. I'd like to restore another vestige, please. Yeah, I can restore... There's so many vestiges. I can restore this one as well. Yes. And, uh... I mean, I do still do YouTube because right now what I'm doing is I will do these Let's Plays live on Twitch. And then what's going to happen is later on, maybe a month or two down the line, who, Listen up. Our scouts have finally uh, whoever, uh, who has, who, whoever hasn't been able to catch these streams, to watch the VODs or to be here with me live as I'm playing, will be able to view the videos that I edit and upload on YouTube as a catch-up. So like right now, even though I'm playing Code Vein, but right now I'm actually editing videos for the previous game that I was playing, which is AI The Somnium Files. I've been doing that while I've not been streaming these last few days. And since I finished, uh, since I finished AI The Somnium Files, that was about... 20 or so hours worth of content, which I'm condensing into 45 uh, 45 videos that will be uploaded onto my YouTube channel. It's a, it's slow going, editing. I'm gonna play PC so we can start to stream since Gamers make use of Proxy for enough to buy and start again. Yeah, I feel you, dude. I feel you too, dude. Like, the PC that I'm using is the result of like two years worth of hard work and saving up money so that I could build like a 3000. My, my this rig that I'm playing on right now, I built it myself out of parts that I it's just like cobbled together from from uh, top of the line parts that I went to buy I think th about three years ago now I bought it for about three thousand or so dollars it set me back a pretty penny but this guy has lasted me for three years and counting and, I, and so far it's like P having a PC is a good investment but there is nothing Against, no one ever done that for me before. I mean, there's nothing on this platform that says you have to stream on a PC, because in the end, what I feel about streaming games online on Switch is that in the end, it boils down to what you find fun. And if you find what you're doing is fun, then just continue doing it. Which all you need is a capture card to use to stream as it should be good, but yeah, I mean, things like this take time. And I mean, as long as you enjoy what you're doing right now, everything else that you get is an improvement over what you are currently doing. It's how our world is. I'm sure you've seen it yourself. There's no shortage of people who will exploit others to make their own lives easier. I have crossed blades with their miserable sword on more than one occasion. But like, uh, do you stream? What sort of games do you stream? It was a small thing. On your, uh, on your console. Do some good. What is it? Hi, I'd like, you to, I'd like you to restore more vestiges, please. So I can get more powers. Thank you. <laughs> oh, you don't stream yet. Oh, oh, okay. So you're looking to get a capture card and start streaming there. Yeah, I would assume that's... I would say that's a good investment, actually. Give me all your blood beads. If you don't, you're gonna get hurt. Look at me, being threatened by a little boy. I must be letting my image slip. I'm not a little boy. Now hurry up and hand him over, lady. Probably stream Code Vein or Dead by Daylight. Ah. What did, what I, did say? I say? You're just, You're just a, little a little boy. boy. Still, Still, I have, I to, have admire to admire your guts. guts. I mean, you can stream this, you can stream <laughs> Dead by Daylight. Dead by Daylight's fun. What you want. I'll end up dead anyway. If I not finish the game, but you think you're close. Ooh, very good, very nice. Why? Uh, I need this to ask you something. Is it as linear them? as I've been playing it? Because right now I've gone from city, I've, no, I've gone from the caverns to the city, 
to the I'm trenches, you and now I'm supposed You'll to go back to the city. Way in the world. I'm assuming the game isn't as what linear as this, is offer you right? A job. I, need I need someone to scout out the place marked on this map. <gasps> Think you Duh. can handle that? We live in that. Led me to a fully laden blood spray, tucked neatly out of sight. It was so well hidden that I never could have found it on my own. She'd sent me to the trove alone and unsupervised, so she couldn't very well complain when I took every last blow. It's all over the place at first, but soon the camera just sent you place to place. Okay, good. After all, who am I to turn down? Uh, as much as I like uh, open world games, the thing that turned me off from like playing Dark Souls, like actual Dark Souls, was the fact that uh, I. In the face of all the people in the chat who will tell me to get good, uh, I hate having no objective markers in my games. Whoa, what was that? Talk about your unexpected um, trips down memory lane. That's the thing I didn't like about Dark Souls is that I had no guidance whatsoever. Stop that. I do what I want to do, and, and that's all there is to I know it. Dark Souls is supposed to Most be challenging, the majority of their and that's where the fun lies, I but I just couldn't handle respect. uh I've still a got game almost with all of that them. level of and the things I difficulty. want to forget aren't going anywhere. <laughs> Lucky me, right? And so I found Looks like you have in the, the time that I've spent on Code Vein that this is a good to me. Be sure to let me know, sort of. Okay? I'll make it worth your while. Uh, what's the word? There could be something Gage? out there that I've forgotten. For how difficult to let me get? I want to see what it <laughs> You're is. the same face king. Yeah, I could never handle Dark Souls. Never. It's like, oh hey, from Firelink Shrine. What do I do again? Goes down, falls off cliff, dies, respawns. Oh, wait, shit. He used to go up into, then I went up into the undead burg, got lost, and then I stopped playing. Maybe I did, and maybe I didn't. And that's the uh, extent of my Dark Souls 1 experience. <laughs> and then I played like Dark Souls 2 for about an hour with a friend and then I stopped playing it. Because, uh, no, not an hour, more like, like an hour, no, two hours, three hours-ish. But I could never get used to how difficult Dark Souls games were and, and, it's, and I still haven't. So this is a good middle ground, thankfully. Increases strength to Ooh, yes, passives. This is the first kind of Souls like game I've ever played, and man, I'm glad, am I glad I got it? Yeah, I know. It's good that you've uh, managed to get something that is just this, uh, how do you say, the forgiving. Fallen Order is a nice mix of Dark Souls as combat while selecting an objective. Oh yeah, Jedi Fallen Order, yeah, I play that. I didn't play it on stream, but I play that all the way to completion. It's one of the best Star Wars games I've ever played. It's so good. It's, 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 it's really, 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 I love Jedi Fallen Order. I love it. It's so great. Uh, I got passive so I can equip and then increase my strength and dexterity. Ta-da. I got one more passive that I can put here. Phantom Assault. Okay, so triple annihilator. Okay, that's fine. And then I can put the fire one. Yay. It just started and got past the first world. Ooh, good luck, man. It gets progressively harder, obviously, but um, the thing that I found the most... Uh, oh, wait, hold on. You just started. Hmm. Story spoilers. Spoilers in general for gear. Hmm. Put value in your force force abilities and don't be afraid if you're in a pin, if you're in a pickle and there's a cliff nearby especially. Don't be afraid to be cheap and shove people off cliffs. It has saved me so much headache when fighting stronger enemies in that game. Just like, oh hey, the next to the cliff, force push. <laughs> I, just get the, I just get the experience and uh, go on my merry way. I need to go to the ruined city center, right? Here? No, let's go here. Yeah, also don't get angry if you die. Never get angry if you die. Just uh, take it as a, an opportunity, as a learning experience or an opportunity. I had that happen to me to fighting the giant frog the first <laughs> Yeah, like if you don't get used to the um, like the controls of Fallen Order, I have also found it very easy to just jump off of cliffs and die. <laughs> don't worry, you're not alone, Phantom. One jump attacked me and f jumped off the side of. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Uh, yeah, it's nice being able to take advantage of you're hoping we find something of a stupid AI. The cocoon still looks wild to me. I know, right? Okay, so there's a big boy over there, but we don't need to fight them. There's a bunch of dudes this way that I do that I do need to fight. Uh, uh, and uh, yay! I like how there's a missile over there, but like I can't teleport to it directly, and so I haven't actually gone down this way yet. Yeah, good partner, good partner choice. Ooh, yeah, I, I like Yakumo because as much as um the whole synergy thing with Louie is pretty great, um he doesn't hit hard. Prepare now, so you don't regret it later. He doesn't hit as hard as Yakumo does, and so that's why I picked him. Uh, also, this isn't foreshadowing. 
cabin. I wish we could take it home with us. Prometheus Vestige Part D. Can't get up there right now. Let's keep moving. Oh, okay. I guess we just gotta go back this way. He's probably the best partner in game. Even I'm using him late game. Yeah. I mean, I have watched him spawn in and then. With that spinny attack that he does, he just demolishes all the enemies in his wake. Which is really great when I'm fighting a group of enemies. I just, all I do is just sit back, relax, watch him do his thing, and then go in and mop up all the survivors. Okay, so there's a bunch of NPCs. This park was a nice place to hang out. Okay, so there's a bunch of NPCs over this way. Uh, I don't know, wait, hold on, is there actually, I'm just gonna check the controls. Uh, it's, it's gonna be very fast. I'm just gonna see if there is a map up. There is a map button here. Uh, there is no map. Oh well, there's no there, no there's no button that makes the map bigger. Oh wait, no, hold on. What am I talking about? The, ex the pause menu has a map. <laughs> okay, so there's an NPC over at the parking garage. Oh, oh wait, hold on. There's an NPC at the parking garage. Go back to the butterfly nesting. Oh, okay, yeah, sure. So I know you end up getting a double lightsaber. Lightsaber is that pretty late into the game. Uh, the double lightsaber you get in Fallen Order. It is pretty late in the game, but it is not. The decision is yours. Uh, it is not late enough that uh, getting the double lightsaber doesn't matter. Um, you get the double lightsaber like a, like a good ways into the game and then you have it for I think a good, I think, you get, I think you get it like a good halfway into the game and then you spend the other half uh, being able to, well, just a double lightsaber. And uh, I think that's how far you get into the game. I can't remember, it's been so long since I played it. Are you trying to progress in the game or just level up? Uh, I don't know at this point. I'm probably just progressing right now. Uh, the leveling, I'm just doing it passively because um, I've gathered enough haze at this point to level myself up to, to progress up to level 29. I don't know if that's high or not, but um, I've gotten enough to get there. So I'm gonna just quickly teleport to the parking garage because apparently there's an NPC there that I can talk to. Hey, it's you, the asshole. Wait, you're the Crimson Sword. I'm not the Crimson hey, Sword. Let me just say, I don't have time for dealing with folks like you. I'm in a tight enough spot already. And now the lost are slowing me down. Damn it all. I just want to find a blood spring for everyone. The lost over in the park? There's nothing I can do about them. Over in the park. Is it over in the park? Uh oh, the park ruins. Okay. Yeah, it's telling me to go back into the city to find another blood spring. Um, <laughs> yeah, I know, right? It really doesn't feel like levels do much other than just pad out the amount of stats with which um people delete things. So like, yeah, it just like giving gives me more health that I can. This is a better place to fight. Gives me more, like, gives me more health, more numbers to chunk away and whatnot. Uh, ooh, hello, who are you? Finally, at last, someone's here. Almost 120 and still got out of 3,000 HP. Everything was in shambles. I don't know what's going on. I have no mask and this thirst feels like it's going Wait, what? to kill me. What do you mean you have no mask? You're wearing There's one! No around. Please do something. What do you mean you have no mask? There's one right ahead of, there's one right on your face. No harm in being prepared. Hi. Ow. Ah. <laughs> Yeah, boy, it's dead. You have to take whatever you can use. Well, I mean, we cleared the way. Taking down a monster like that. Oops. Taking forgotten so much. The last thing I recall is the city falling. So you're apart. a new revenant, huh? Yeah. If I go back, then. Yay! We got a things. We got things. Ow! I. I did that counter too slow. I am bad. I'm hilariously bad at counters. I am. <laughs> Ow! Jerk! Yeah, my drain attack is the scorpion shell. I think I don't even know how to do the drain attacks. To be honest, uh, I've just been treating this like a Dark Souls game and just attack, 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 attack without really having without block, just block, 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 and stuff like that. Oh, okay. I have a drain attack and it's control plus. Bring it any time. Uh. Ah, there we go. Yeah, that's how that's how that works. <laughs> Damn it. The main thing is the yeah, the main thing is the block and dodge. Out of town. Too bad there's no one in it. Oh hi. Ha ha! Bitch! Fancy cologne. Oh, not bad. I wonder who I can give that to. Yeah. Hi. Oi. This, this guy. This guy. This guy. This guy. 
Ah, damn. Throwing a knife at me. Throwing a knife at my back. Hit an enemy from behind a vehicle. Yeah, see, that's the other thing I found weird about this game. It tells you to, uh, like, head, hit enemies. Like that? No, I don't think so. Because it's supposed to be like a special animation if they if you hit them from behind, right? So there is someone over here. Oh wow, we just trashed that guy. Oh no, this that oh, that guy's the hiding spots among these vehicles. It's uh the, the, that asshole revenant that was here before. Yeah, I got oh I gotta time it right. Oh okay. Hi. Ow. Jerk. Urgh. Getting so many sunset swords, I don't know what to do with them. Hi. Oh okay, I can't cancel the I can't cancel those. Ah! Thank you. Oh shit, I'm gonna die. Oh, maybe not. Uh, oh, okay, never mind. It the. Uh, you gotta time it right and get them in the right spot. Okay, so that's how the back attacks work. I'm not great at those, if you can tell. <laughs> let's rest at this missile and get all my stuff back. And then let's teleport over to the park, because apparently this guy wants me to kill something that's over at the park. Ah! Oh, like that? Uh. Fumble around and I got it. Yay! This park was a nice place to hang out. What a lonesome sight. Okay, now we got. Now we get to go back to the parking garage and tell that idiot. Oops. Tell the idiot that we uh, managed to kill that thing. Hi, your problems hey, are over. Did you guys take down that lost? I put you through a bit. It's been a while since they booted me out of the shelter. That's what happens when you spend too much time living. Now we gotta find. Thank you for the lost shark. We can a good li That's the op My favorite back attacks are the swords, hounds, and scorpion. Ooh, swords, hounds? Huh? Do they are they given by other codes? Like are they are those different? Or are they because? Oh no no, it's because of the blood veils. That's right. Forgot about that. Alright, what the. F where the hell am I supposed to go from here? Uh. Oh yeah, that was that broken lever over at the. Oh yeah, that hole. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I, I. Too far ahead. I know where I need to go. I need to get back to that hole. Different blood fields. Yeah, I. I, I realized. I. Uh, I am a bit of. I'm a bit of a. I'm a bit of a dum dum when it comes to things like this. It takes me a bit to learn. Oh. <laughs> nice job swinging in the air, Yakumo. And it's dead. <laughs> They're all dead. Wow. You got something we can use? <laughs> you demonstrated your skills nicely. Thank you, Yakumo. Okay, so there's a bunch of not dead guys over here, like this guy, that one, this one. Oops. Taking thralls on a walk. Huh? Yeah, I figure we have enough firepower to take these guys out, like right now. Don't let them back you into a corner. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Here, take that. Ow. Oh, it dead. Die. Thank you. First time I played this at the scorpion tail, then changed back to the claw and couldn't figure out what had happened. Press an hour to it. Uh, that feels... I feel bad now. Uh, but like, I mean, it's all like a learning experience. I guess. And, I don't know, I guess I... Oh, that guy's dead. This guy's dead. Okay, everybody's dead. Yeah, get wrecked, dude. They like to play dead, and I just like, look at this sword. It's bigger than me. It just goes, <laughs> dead. Okay, so I'm assuming I either have to use the elevator, or I have to drop down these ledges. And honestly, either, both options don't sound appealing to me. Uh, let's just uh, leap of faith this then, I guess. Don't Let run too far ahead. Uh, I hope I don't it's miss it. Like I hope I don't miss any uh, jumps because of this. Oh boy. Uh, oh! <laughs> I saw that advice too late. So what that we need to roll. I rolled right off that and into the abyss. Okay, now where is my corpse? That's uh, down there. Okay. Sorry. Moving out. Thank you. Okay, uh, do I... 
Should I, uh, do I have to roll off this? Oh wait, no, hold on. There's another ledge underneath this one. Uh, okay, so if I had, if I had gone that one, I could have gotten that item, whatever that was. But uh, oh, I have condemned myself to this route, and this route I shall go. Uh, which way? Stay away from the edges. This way. Way. <gasps> I don't like how in these sort of games there is no ability to jump. Having an ability to jump would be so great. Like that, so I could be able to get that item, but I'd not have to drop from all the way up there. Without, an ability. Without the ability to jump. Uh, is this one? Oof, okay. And then, yeah, and then here. Uh, I'm not sure how far down I have to go, but uh, we will see. Okay, here we go. Early game, you're so squish, it's cute. <laughs> That's a hell of a hole. Okay. The device is not working. Oh, it's it's like I got a measly thousand six hundred health. That's uh, that's 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 great. I'm assuming. I mean, that's not great, great, great. But it's something. Legends are probably the scariest things in games like this. Yeah, you're right. It's like in in Jedi Fallen Order, you at least had the ability to jump and then double jump. So navigating things like these to get hidden away items would be a breeze. Hold on, I'm on my way. But like in games like this where you can't jump and you can only roll, it's scary. Uh, hi, are you dead? Yes, you are. Uh, ooh, cutscene. Go to the elevator to make- go in the elevator to make it work. Oh, okay. But if I trigger this cutscene already, I'll just do the missile and then I'll just activate cut straight the, through the, the elevator. Mist. I'll take a bit more than that to keep us from getting lost. Let's take a break here. Yeah. Let's take a break here and see what our- Oh, he's eating a right- <laughs> he's, he's eating a- Oh, this? Onigiri. It's called onigiri. It's a kind of food that's easy to carry around. Good jump save to make sure you get the perfect landing and not under Not that there's yep. any point in eating food for a revenant. Although we may thirst for blood, we never grow hungry. Still, I think that makes eating all the more meaningful for us. I mean, food is we nice. We fight. We drink blood. We revive. We fight some more. Our lives are pretty much one endless loop. That is a very... But every time you go around, you almost forget that we were all human once. This is very cliche anime sort of dealio, huh? If I completely lost the memory of my human past, I wouldn't be me anymore. I would just be something in the shape of Complete me. with the cheesy music in the background. I'd look like a revenant, but on the inside, I'd be no different than the lost. What's the point of living like that? Remember the food it hits deep later in the I game. I served in the army. Uh-oh. Back before I became a revenant. We always used to eat these things when we were out on missions. I guess. That is a giant. Remember. That is a giant Unigiri, though. It was a miserable time. But I made some good friends. That is that a I should gigantic Unigiri, though. Like, this stuff doesn't really taste that great. That? This thing? It always that's, reminds me of gigantic. Friends. So, I guess you could say it helps oh. me stay me. <laughs> it's been an important companion in my life. Okay, all set. Uh-oh. Come on, let's get going. Spaghettios. There's a blood spring up ahead. Okay. Be careful not to lose your bearings, all right? If we get split up in this mist, we may never be able to find each other again. Oh boy. 